I do, man. I love bunnies. bunnies I used to cool. have one, but like it was doing bunny things all over the house. We had to get rid of it. All right. Oh my God. Smash Brothers continues. <laughs> yes, it returns. You know, I want to. I want to shout out the the people who are running this tournament. This was put on them and us less than a week ago, pretty much, right? About a week ago. Yep. Yeah, uh, another one. Anyway. Um, with that, all of our admins put together at the door registration starting, you know, stopping at noon today, and have put together a 300 person event. This was something thought impossible a couple years ago. So, to Nintendo and everyone else who's helping admin this tournament, uh, to VG Bootcamp, of course, who are making sure things are happening as quickly as they are, thank you guys. And I'm hoping everyone out there in TV Lens enjoying their time. Still here from PAX Prime, Ray Squared versus Dan M. Here we go. That was a super clean up air to up till. I actually need to take that one straight out of Dan M's playbook. Where was the drop zone? I'm mad. Okay, jab to grab. That's pretty solid on Link, being oh, oh, that he's oh. heavy and like a kind of fastballer-ish character at those mid-high percents. That actually will convert. I feel like when I'm casting Falcon matches, I focus too much on the little in intricacies because that's what I'm really looking for. Like as a Falcon player, I want to see exactly what people are doing. Surprised he went for the knee there, considering it's usually the most telegraphed option. Uh, he throws out a, an immediate air dodge out of it, which it makes sense because Link has to be able to stop that up air from coming. There should have been bait potential. Dan should have waited, but beautiful pivot grab. Does he have the follow-ups? Ran past him with the pivot grab, too. Dan M showing some cute stuff. This guy definitely no newcomer to the tournament scene, I think, just based on the way he's controlling Falcon. Looking pretty smooth. He's got those Foxtrot dash dances. Meanwhile, Good projectile I mean, game. Ray Squared is holding his own. This yeah. is a nearly dead even game and nearly a dead link there too. Oh, and nothing that's to do about that one. He was a sitting duck and he takes it hard to the dome. Uh, Falcon, we're gonna see with the first blood of this set. <laughs> Literally, as Link's neck snaps clean open and probably bleeds all over the bottom boundary of battlefield. Thank God we don't get to see that. Here we go. Oh, down, down smash again. Very greedy. Yeah, I think he's catching on to the cross-up rolls. Just doesn't want to let Dan M go one way or the other. Might as well cover them both at the same time. Good damage. Nice follow-up again. Falcon still with stage control. Despite being down 100%, he is still up a stock. Oh, I think he's looking to close. No, I like that. Going to play it safe. Yeah, there's no reason to overextend. Even if there's that slight, slight chance that one or two hits of Link's up B is going to send you crashing into the side of Battlefield. Oh, suboptimal punish, but it doesn't matter. Oh my wow. god, that center hitbox of Falcon's Dare sends you rocketing out horizontally. And everyone's always like, wait, what? I thought it was down air, down. No. Uh Clean two stock right there. Dan M uh, taking the first game. Ray Squared's going to have to do some work here. You know, we talked about the name meta. So far, it's kind of. It's been a Proving little predictable. True. Yeah. But I got to say, I mean, like, first minute and a half of that match, Ray Squared was looking solid. So we're going to go to FD here. Hopefully, you know, the, the problem with this pick for me for Link is that he used those platforms so well, hiding underneath, chucking those projectiles. Is he going to be safe without the added protection from above? I think something that Ray Square needs to look into is holding a bomb as he recovers. They actually have a shorter fuse in this game, and holding onto one is really valuable for getting that up B back. You can kind of stall and intentionally miss the edge, wait for the bomb to blow up, and you get a second lease on life. That unsafe jab three coming out from Link. Smart that he didn't throw it out the second time there. He knows that Dan M understands how to punish it, and he has multiple times at this point. Uh, still slight advantage for Dan M. Still kind of volleying for full control. Captain Falcon in a better spot, but Link keeping him back. Nice grab, good read. Ray Squared has been over-relying on rolls to move for the duration of this match, and even this set, Dan M was starting to catch on, but if you cover yourself properly with projectiles, you can kind of get away with it with Link. Either way, Falcon, one of the hardest punishing characters in the game, and a roll, basically, if you know it's coming, is 20 frames of free setup for the character. Oh, uh, no punish. It. He kind of panicked there. Thought he was going to get tagged by that up B. He backs off, doesn't find a way to recover as the dash dance was super late. Uh, Link, somewhat in control of this game. But he's fighting from the edge, and that's never a position you want to be in, even if you have the percent lead. Still just so dangerous, especially against a character like Captain Falcon who can kill you at 30 off the stage. Now well it looks like there. Ray Squared is unable to start adapting. There's a lot of whiff grabs coming out. The projectiles are getting punished. Uh, Dan M really starting to make uh, great reads in this matchup. Oh, yeah, right, Ray Squared right there. kind of on his flowchart flow right now, just doing the same stuff consistently. My opponent's close to me, roll behind him. He's running at me, roll back. Yeah, exactly, right there. And Dan M kind of retorting with a little bit of himself. 
if only just to send a message like, yeah, man, I know you're doing this. I can do it too. I'm surprised to see Ray continuously going for these grabs when the projectiles are doing the work. Very true. I mean, if you're throwing enough projectiles, though, Got oh, jeez. Got him. That's going to be first blood in game two. Dan M uh, poised. He is on set point, remember. Incredible. Here we go. Link finally starting to use some more of those footsies-esque options, that down tilt oh. rather than down smash, but maybe it was just an input error. Miss punish. It seems to me that Danim has a lot of time playing online. Input timing is a little bit off, you can see, uh, now that we're playing on land. Yeah, he does kind of have that Four Glory Falcon style. He is always swinging, and he's going for a lot of those landing neutral air ones, too. Reed works, but it's not enough. Still standing at 162 now. At two arrows in a row, but another one of these whiffed grabs. Yeah, Ray Squared also continually cornering himself, always rolling back out of fear. Doesn't seem to mind fighting from the corner, but even if you're comfortable there, it doesn't Got make him. it any good. Okay. Ties it up here, only a 15% difference, which is obviously negligible at this stage. It's all coming down to really if he can get Link out of his safe zone. That fierce deity, fiercely throwing projectiles at every single chance he gets, but I like the fact that he's not using the jab three, but he's always kind of stopping it into something that's unsafe. And right there, right. Falcon punishing immediately. 67% now added. And Dan M on the verge here. Again, just needs to close it out, but that can be the hardest part, especially if you start looking for those kill moves too much. And Falcons are very telegraphed if you're not creative about it. Good nair from Falcon. Good spacing as well. Looking to close this one out. Aside from spikes or, you know, a, a, a wacky falcon punch, he is looking to get about, I, I would say, about 30, 30 more percent for looking yeah, for major kills. Yeah, if he wants kills. to kill him clean with, like, a back air or something, a knee certainly would have done it about 30% ago, though. Oh, sure. Yeah, it's just a matter of actually getting the setup. Like, very vulnerable to the falling up air into knee, but it doesn't look like it's in Dan M's arsenal quite yet. Well, a lot more kill options open now. Not going to find the dash attack punish. Trying to get in. Jab, like. jab, down tilt. See, that's the safe That's stuff. what we were looking for. We've seen him do it once before that. Trying to ride that tornado in. He's just going to find a grab. Link's opportunity here. Can he find it? Oh! Hits the ground, and which shuts the hitbox down. A shame. Almost an overextension there, but of course, Falcon's vertical recovery pretty on point. Dan M can afford that risk, and he's not living. Wow. Thought he was. No Captain, sparks. Captain Falcon there going to find the 2-0. Beautiful. Where was it? You just have to... Was it under the couch? It's always under the couch. Or it's always stuck in the cushions. Okay, here we go. That set has concluded. Ray Squared, I mean, it looked like he was starting to get a hang of the matchup toward the end. He was like, okay, I have to do safer stuff. Down tilt is going to work. Down smash might not. Maybe throw the projectiles, use the grabs as a mix-up, but not as, like, the next step in my flow chart. Uh, either is that, way. Is that what you expected? What? That matchup? It, did that ex mm, go the way that you had expected? Kind of. I mean, it really was just Falcon trying to overwhelm Link. You know, uh, in its most basic form, that's really what you want to do. You want to look for that opening, going for the dash attack or dash grab. And Dan M was doing that to great effect.